Welcome back to the Clay Free Show. All right, what's up, everybody? Today we've got a brand new video on the 2020 ABC Democratic debate that just took place last night. Uh, but before we get into that, be sure you drop a like and subscribe for more content like this all the time. Uh, we always love to post political content, so if you want to join this awesome community, be sure to like and subscribe. All right, so I've got a little list, right, that is uh, that I have to break down all of the candidates performances so we're gonna start from the bottom and we're gonna work our way up starting at number seven we've got Joe Biden Joe Biden was absolutely awful last night if you weren't watching Joe Biden looked like his brain had completely went sicko mode this man how how were you still in this this man oh dude he looked so bad. He couldn't form sentences. Um, it, it was really, really bad. He couldn't get out his words. He was stumbling over his words. I understand that he has a stutter, but dude, this was different. This was bad. This is a very bad performance by Joe Biden. And, uh, you know, this is coming right after he came in fourth place in Iowa. He came out and he was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to do, do good in this debate. I didn't do good in Iowa. Probably not going to do good in New Hampshire. Dude, don't say that. Do not say that. Voters do not like when you give up like that. Oh, Joe Biden, there's so many problems with his performance. I can make a 20-minute video just on Joe Biden's awful debate performance. But nonetheless, we've got a list to get through, so let's go ahead and get through it. All right, so coming in at number six, we have Pete Buttigieg, uh, rat boy himself. Uh, <laughs> he did absolutely awful. Yeah, rat boy right there. Uh, right there, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Pete Buttigieg was bad, dude. He, whew, he did really, really bad. He was confronted about his awful uh, record when it comes to criminal justice. When he was in when South Bend's mayor, he looked like he was lost. Like, oh, I don't remember what my own policy was, dude. How do you not remember? You were literally mayor till like four weeks ago. How do you not remember? People, they were uh, the moderators were asking him and really pressing him, which is fantastic because they never ask Pete Buttigieg hard questions, but they did today. And I was, or last night rather, and I was very, very excited. Uh, they pressed him hard on why drug offended, uh, drug offenders that are black disproportionately actually went up under his, uh, under his administration in South Bend. And he was pressed about it. And he was like, well, actually they went down and they're like, no, Pete, they went up. Defend your position, dude. There is no way to, for you to weasel yourself out of this one, dude. You have to defend it. He ended up giving some bullshit about uh, gang violence in Indiana. Has anyone ever heard of a gang in Indiana? I haven't. Uh, gangs in Indiana? Indiana? Oh, Lord. Anyway, uh, nonetheless, Pete Buttigieg had a awful awful performance he was attacked from both sides of the spectrum uh you know moderates centrist progressives they all came in the moderators attacked them i mean it was a bad bad performance by pete Buttigieg, and clearly he cannot handle that pressure you could see it really getting under his skin too he's biting his lip he's getting very angry very visibly angry um it was a bad bad performance by pete Buttigieg. Number five on my list is Amy Klobuchar. So Klobuchar, you know, she's this centrist that she really likes to specify and let everyone know she's from the Midwest. Dude, we don't care. We do not care. Um, she just kept making just cringy jokes after cringy jokes. And every time she spoke, it was like, Oh, please stop talking, Amy. You are so bad. You have no policies, right? Um, uh, I'd love, love to have a debate where we have all these progressives, you know, debating ideas like UBI and federal jobs guarantee and stuff like that. But instead we get Amy Klobuchar that stands for zero, nothing, nothing she stands for nothing um we got her uh running 
for fuck knows whose reason. Really, it's just to be president. She really has no reason, no, no, you know, values that she stands on. But I think her performance is really bad. The only positives, the only thing that puts her above people to judge and Joe Biden is the fact that she defended uh, Bernie and uh, she uh, stood up to Pete Buttigieg. I mean, it was a lame attack, but hey, at least at least she tried it, right? Coming in at number four on my list is Elizabeth Warren. Now, Elizabeth Warren, she's kind of fluctuated around when it comes to uh, debate performances. I don't think this is her best debate performance, but I definitely don't think it was her, her worst, right? So... I think she did enough to where she'll be still considered a front runner. Um, she's not going to lose any ground. I don't know how much she'll gain. I think the media might try to prop her up as like the big winner, like oh tonight's surprise winner. Um, and she's at number four. She would be higher, but listen, do not attack my man Bernard for taking money from a pack that was literally created by his coalition in 2016 to help him get elected, dude. It's not some kind of dark money pack, right? Uh, I understand people like, well, packs are bad, packs are packs are packs, packs are bad. Really, it is super packs, right? That should be the underlying um, issue is super packs and actual dark money like Pete Buttigieg right here is taking. Um, like he's taking that little cheese because he's a rat. Uh, yeah, no one likes Pete Buttigieg. Sorry. If you like Pete Buttigieg and you're on my channel, I'm sorry. Number three on my list is Andrew Yang. Now, Andrew Yang, it could be said that he had a, a bad night um, compared to other nights. And I'd agree with that. But honestly, compared to the other candidates, dude, his performance was pretty good. Um, Andrew Yang really didn't get a whole lot of talking time. And I think if he got more... People will be putting him higher on list, but you know, Andrew Yang, he just came in there super calm, super chill, just, Hey man, at least I'm here. Last debate. I wasn't even on the debate stage. At least I'm here. It's going to go better than last time. Uh, no matter what I say. So, and he actually stepped in and defended Bernie several times. So I think Andrew Yang's looking for a cabinet position in the Sanders, Sanders administration because he knows where the Democratic Party is headed. And I don't think anybody's going to touch this uh, Bernie Sanders momentum going forward. Number two is Tom Steyer. Tom Steyer uh, had a pretty decent performance. He made some pretty uh, great points about race and the racial divide in this country. And I thought the I thought the more that he spoke, the more that I actually enjoyed his, his political commentary, you know, surprise to me. Uh, he's a billionaire, right? But he also like loves Bernie Sanders for whatever reason. So I respect it. You know what I'm saying? Um, is it gonna, is it gonna give him a boost in the polls? Probably not, but Hey, he likes Bernie Sanders. So I guess I'll put him at two, right? And number one, Coming as zero surprise to anybody that watches my channel, Bernie Sanders, America's dad, delivered a masterpiece of a debate performance. I mean, straight out the gate, attacking Pete Buttigieg for his billionaire donors, goaded, right? Uh, Bernie Sanders absolutely dominated this debate. He was being attacked by the moderators. He was being attacked by the centrist. He was being attacked by Elizabeth Warren, whatever she is. Um, and he was able to defend himself the entire time. Every time he spoke, it was seemed like the audience just ate up every word that he said. And he's clear. He is the one that's fighting for the people. He cannot be bought out by special interests. Bernie Sanders is the candidate to represent this party in this 2020 election. But will the Democratic Party catch on? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm looking forward to the next debate because Michael Bloomberg will be in it and I hope Bernie Sanders calls out his oligarchy plan to his face. Um, with that being said, that's all I have for today. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you are new, be sure to like and subscribe. I post political content all the time and it's an awesome community to join. I'm out. Peace.